Okay, this is the uh, April 23rd meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Um, we're being uh, videoed by Frontier Community Access Television, and we will have a joint meeting with the Finance Committee a little later on. First item on the agenda is the minutes for the uh, April 17th Select Board meeting. Any, any additions or changes? Yeah, they fine me. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes for um, April 17th. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, meetings it's, attended it's by nice. Select Board members last week. So I usually go first. So, so I had two meetings this week, um, and one was a continuation of what I talked about last week um, with our uh, upcoming aggregation interviews. We are going to be interviewing Colonial, who was the, the potential broker that responded to our RFP to aggregate the town. And, uh, and we had the interview with Colonial, and they seemed fine. You know, no one ended up of, of there was uh, about eight towns that were there at the interview and and everyone seemed to, you know, like them fine. I mean, no, no Mark, objections. Mark, and was it Mark Capitano? Mark was, okay. yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so we're now, now putting together the contract that uh, we will be issuing to all of the select boards um, and uh, uh, in, in, you know, in the future, then we can talk about it when we get the contract. Um, and I, and, but it's all fairly straightforward, and my hope is that we will sign the contract mm -hmm. um, when once we get it. So FERCOG is putting together that contract, and then when FERCOG uh, does that, they're really finished their piece of this project. They they sort of ran the piece of the project that was building this committee of town of select board representatives. Um, calling together the committee, creating the RFP that we sent out, reviewing the results of the RFP, um, vetting the, 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 you know, the results that we got back, and then, and then holding a meeting, holding the interviews, and, and coming up with our recommendation. Mm -hmm. so, okay. And then now, now FERCOG is basically done. Okay. All right. So, my, so we had one other meeting this week. Um, there was a planning board meeting that Bob went to and I went to and Tom was there and cast of thousands. You know, the planning board was there, the energy committee was there, mm -hmm. maybe some other people. And, uh, assessors. Uh, and, 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 right, the assessors were there and, and the assessors had a consultant with them right. whose name I don't recall, but uh, somebody who's had a lot of experience. And the, the, uh, the reason we all got together for this meeting was that there is a proposal to build a large solar installation here in Conway, down in the southern part of Conway, sort of near where uh, Main Poland Road comes into Williamsburg Road, a little mm -hmm. bit north of there along Main Poland Road, and it just so happens that uh, uh, Mrs. Newman, who's here, whose property it is, she's here for other reasons, but she just happens to be here today. And uh, and so and 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 when we walked into this meeting, I won't speak for Bob, but you know, basically none of us knew anything about about what this was, except it was going to discuss a possible solar installation uh, to be built by a company called Nexamp. Sure. And, and yeah. Nexamp is a company that I've certainly heard a lot about, all positive, um, and building what's referred to as community solar. And uh, community solar is something that we haven't been talking about addressing with the possible solar field we may put behind the grammar mm -hmm. school, uh, which would power the town, provide enough uh, electricity to power the municipal buildings in town, mm -hmm. um, but wouldn't be making enough electricity for what's referred to as community solar. And that came up a lot. Community solar came up a lot during the solarized Conway program that the Energy Committee ran uh, because a lot of people that couldn't put solar on their roof or couldn't put solar in their backyard or mm -hmm. for whatever, or people who were renting couldn't, couldn't partake in, in uh, the building a solar array on their property, but they were really interested in community solar. And that's what Nexamp does. They specialize mm -hmm. in building a solar installation um, th that would sell their electricity f into community solar, including folks here in Conway. Mm -hmm. And uh, and since I like solar, um, I think this is a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. um, as far as we can tell from the 
from the solar field. You will not be able to see any roads or houses. And the other thing is that means that no one in Conway will actually be able to see this solar field from their houses or from the road. Um, there will be some construction uproar, but once it's done, it will just sit there silently generating power. Uh, Bob had questions about fire, which were which were good, and he can talk about those. But uh, and 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 the other thing notable for this project is it's big. Um, it's it's about a 30-acre solar field. That was what we talked about. And, uh, big. and that is big. all of this could change. I mean, they're still evaluating wetlands and, you know, invasive, you know, different kind of plants or whatever. But, but it looks like it may be around 30 acres. It may be around six megawatts of power. And we'll have to do more of these calculations. I don't know whether you've done these calculations, but as far as I can tell, six megawatts of power is about what the uh, eight or nine hundred homes of Conway use every day, you know, so mm -hmm. it should generate about the amount of power that we use uh, in Conway, except for the municipal buildings, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, so, so that's a sizable amount of power. Yes, and, it is. Uh, yes, it is. So. I, I've worked with Nexium. Yeah, they're good, good organization. Yeah, good organization. Yeah. Yeah. Good organization. Robert, I, that was a meeting, same meeting I was at. The, the questions we shot at them, they had answers from all. They were very good answers. On they them. were, yeah. I was very pleased when we walked out of that meeting. They've done this the guy before. Guy was very well organized. He knew his answers. He had his homework done, and uh, I came out of the feeling really great about it. Yeah. Who was there from Next Am? Uh, his name was Ethan. Uh, I'm trying to think of the last name, but Ethan, I'm sure, was there. And then one of the and they had a, he had a civil engineer with him who who had walked the property and you know liked the the flatness of the property and the way it's pitched, uh, the good southern exposure, you know everything that they would want. And maybe not so big an issue here in Conway, but they're used to building a lot of these projects in eastern Massachusetts, mm -hmm. where you know keeping the neighborhood happy and, and, and trying to find a place to put these projects where you can't see the project mm -hmm. from any homes or any roads is difficult. And they yeah. really like this property uh, for that reason. And it, you know, it has three-phase power that comes down from Route 116 because of the old Culver pallet factory that was there. Okay. Um, and, and they like the fact that that's not used at all now, so there's plenty of capacity on these wires to carry this amount of power. Power, mm -hmm. you know, up into the electric lines. They don't foresee any problems with the power company authorizing this. And so everything they said was was positive. Good, good. Good. Okay. Um, I had two meetings last week. I was, um, I went to the uh, Franklin County Selectments Association Board of Directors meeting. Uh, we discussed the next two uh, regional meetings we'll have uh, here and the topics for those meetings. So that was, and trying to encourage more selectmen to come to those meetings. You know, you would you would think we would have a larger group. We have a couple of good topics coming up, so I think I think we could get some more more attendance. Uh, I also had a FERCOG council meeting uh, last week, um, and we discussed uh, you know the normal budgetary items that we have to to do for FERCOG and. We had a couple of presentations on, uh, uh, the most interesting one was on uh, graphical uh, information systems, geographic systems. Hey, Chief, how are you? So that's the two meetings I went to last week. Um, okay, we have any citizens' concerns? I don't see any. Okay. Next item, old business. We have to appoint Sarah Newman to the Board of Registrars. Okay. We got a recommendation from, um, I suppose, Jenny on this? Yes. Okay. And Jenny has highly recommended Ms. Newman to be on the Board of Registrars? Correct. Okay. Any questions for Ms. Newman? Thank you. You're welcome. With a high paying job, is it? Uh, yes. We, we appreciate your volunteering. Yeah. I'm happy to do it. Good, good. 
Okay. Any any other questions? No other questions. Well, certainly with the with the uh, uh, very high recommendation of our town clerk, um, I would uh, make a motion that we appoint uh, Sarah Newman as a member of the Board of Registrars for term ending June 30th, 2018, and then we'll reappoint uh, after that. Do I have a, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So I'll have to get sworn in now and then come back in July or something. Okay. So you'll have to stand in front of Jenny and raise your right hand and yeah. say the magic words. Okay. We, we were going to grill you with a lot of questions, but we, you know, <laughs> we took Jenny's recommendation. Right. Hey, thanks Thank for coming in. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, next item is a uh, new complaint about dogs at um, 651 Graves Road. Chief? Just in time. Just in time. Oh, yeah. Brian, how you doing? Good. Okay, uh, apparently last week Brian had some video he had taken of the dogs. Uh, the video that I saw, although the dogs were intimidating for sure, to my knowledge in the video they didn't leave the property, however there was a still picture of the dog off the property, mm -hmm. which is a dark We'll have another complaint tonight. Okay. And another video if you'd like to see it. We were walking tonight, and as we were heading out, the little boy, uh, if you saw the video before, he had been carrying the bat last time, and the little boy saw us, went running to the house, grabbed his bat, and came running back. The dogs came, one dog came, that one male, I think, came to the road, and then, then the kid called it back, and then the kid told him, sick him. And the dog came right to right into the road a little bit, you know, when I did it. Somebody said that from the house? The little boy. No, the little boy said it with cold in the back. So I stopped, you know, after the dog did this thing ran off, I, I asked the little boy, what are you going to do with that bat? And of course, he didn't say nothing. But, I mean, it's getting to be a little... I mean, that dog came, comes right... I mean, he was actually in the road. I mean, his front feet are in the road, but I mean, still. No sign of adults. No, no adults anywhere. No. And I mean, now I have to put up with a little boy... The other day, he made, you know, when, we, when me and Nancy were walking by, he called us an effing a-holes. I mean, this is from a seven or eight-year-old boy, and now tonight he's telling the dog to sick him. This is getting to be, I can't even walk and enjoy myself. I mean, it's... Well, this, uh, this photo shows the dog clearly not on the property. Right. Mm -hmm. um, well, not, it's not restrained at all. Down the road and, and not on a leash, so this yeah. is... Uh, this is clearly actionable after uh, the previous uh, order. Have you from given the select previous board. ticket? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And what do you say about that? In, in say nothing. From, from here on, from I'll here on check out, with Jenny whether or not he's we're going to give him a ticket for every incident. And will you have? Will you please well, have I, a talk I, with him? I, I will about, certainly have a talk with him. But I certainly can't, about. I, I can't necessarily give it for every incident if the dog doesn't leave the property. Because under Mass General Laws, the dog doesn't have to be restrained on their property. Okay, for, for every complaint that the dog leaves the property. Right. And let's let's have a talk with him about, Absolutely. is this his son? Uh, yes, it's his son. Well, let's have a talk about yeah. the younger yeah. um, boy. Okay, if you want to see the video, I can show you the video after. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, and, and let's see if we can impress on, on him that, that we've been through this process and we're getting to the point where uh, we may have no choice but to, to order more uh, stringent uh, punishments. Okay. I mean, it's very intimidating when we're walking down the road. And this dog I'm comes, sure they're, I mean, they're large dogs. I've, I've experienced myself, not recently, but, but in years past. Mm -hmm. So I, I know what you're talking about. It's going to be an every night occurrence. I mm -hmm. mean, so, yeah. I mean, I, I hate to be the guy complaining all the time, but I don't want to get bit either. Right. Yeah. yeah especially sure. when the young boy says, get him, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's no excuse for that. Well, we've had a complaints from the highway department, chasing the highway vehicles all the way down to 116, too. So. Anything yeah. recent, Bob? I don't you know. I have not heard anything. We, we, issued, we issued a citation on the 18th of March. And, uh, this was the first complaint I've had since then. Mm -hmm. Could you check with Ron and see if there's been any since then? Sure. No, with him. 
And again, let's let's issue a ticket for every incident that you know breaks mm -hmm. the rules and the dogs are out. And, and let's talk with with him and see if we can get him to comply. Yeah. No. All right. I appreciate that. that. Okay. Great. Has anything been done of a pen or? He, he talked about building a pen or building a run or something like that. Well, I talked to him about a minimum of putting up a run. Yeah. At least a run but in the back of the house. To my knowledge, there's nothing yet. Uh huh. So. Because this was a year ago. Yeah. He mm -hmm. talked about building a pen. And I hear somebody say he's retired. That's what they claim. Yeah. 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 He's no longer employed by Northampton. So. Okay. Right. Yeah, I do know of other people who who want to complain, but they're afraid because he was a police officer. Right. Thanks for well, coming we'll in. Just just have him speak informally to to the chief, yes. and, and you know we'll go go that route. Okay. Sure. All right. He's no Brian, right thanks now. for coming in. Thanks, hey, Brian. Chief, thank oh, you. Okay. Thank you. All right. We'll talk again. Hopefully not because of this. Yes. Okay, new business. We have a joint meeting with the Finance Committee. Is the Finance Committee available? They were outside. They were out here. Sure, it's not the planning board. You're on Finance Committee. Finance Planning. It's all the same. It's one of those. I just got to chuckle out of it. That's all. I was clearly a little ahead of myself. Planning board, they do a lot. I'm here. That's hey, good. All right. right. These little um, handouts. Hey, Alan. Wow, well, we got four, right? Yeah. Rory and um, oh, right. Close Oh, yeah. So, can we fit one more person? You're backing up there. Yeah, don't, don't try to fit <laughs> Yeah, why not? Yeah. All right. Sharks at the table here, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Deal on it. Michael is just not being on camera. Is Michael possible? Is, is Roy here? Yes, he yeah. is. They're having an argument out there. Tom and Roy? They really oh, come to see here, you. One there, one there. How are you right. doing? Right there. <laughs> okay. So how's everybody doing? Wonderful. We're, we're, we're ready to spend money. We wouldn't be good. Okay, so you guys have looked over the uh, frontier proposal for capital borrowing. And uh, I, I should report that uh, Phil Cantor was in today, who also knows a, a good deal about this. Unfortunately, they're having a meeting tonight as well at 6 o'clock, so he's, oh. he's unable to uh, be here. Okay, all right. Um, I can talk a little bit about it, I guess. Go ahead. Uh, the uh, Frontier Regional Committee appointed the uh, board to kind of look into this. They asked for each, a selection from each town which I was on. And the, the members of the members of the Frontier Regional School Committee, which built on. Mm -hmm. And we looked at, we, we originally went in they had a list of all these, these, you see these projects here, mm -hmm. all listed down here on the right, left hand side, mm -hmm. on three or four pages. Mm -hmm. They had a worst list of everything that needed to be repaired. Mm -hmm. And after a couple of meetings with the board that I was on, we looked at that and we felt that we had to break this down some because some of the items on this we felt weren't as needy as other items. Mm -hmm. And if we could break them down and break them into future years, it would certainly save the towns a lot of money. Uh, so we itemized, we broke them down into building envelope, equipment, exterior, I mean interior, uh, mechanics, technology, and the cost on them all. Now the costs are only estimates at this time. They're only, they're only word of mouth estimates. They have got nothing official in, in it. What our plan is to do, or our, our thoughts were be to do is, and that's why we're meeting tonight, is they would like to have the towns look over this financial plan that Joe Markarian built for us, uh, for Conway, the one on the other sheet that says Conway. And uh, so we could go ahead and give this, this com our committee, not this committee, our, my Frontier Regional Committee, an idea as to how you feel the towns could afford to move forward with this project. 
Um, and there's a bunch of options here. So the first year they're asking for six hundred dollars. No, six hundred dollars right there. If you look on the very last page yeah, of this first one, one million one hundred forty-nine thousand four hundred fifty dollars. That's the back here. That's the total part. Look way down the bottom here. Year one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the majority of the cost of that, if you look up further, is the track project. They've had all kinds of uh, uh, people come in and look at the the track for the field tracks, and they've all said it needs to be repaired and it needs to be redone all the way down through the base, like almost like starting all over basically. And they all they get an estimate of six hundred thousand dollars. This stuff would have to go out the bid, of course, and so that these prices would change. We're hoping that they're. We don't know how accurate these prices are because the. Uh, the superintendent of the building maintenance program uh, put this together for everybody, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm talking to different people. So the uh, <coughs> you see the building envelope in the first year is twenty-two thousand, the equipment forty-eight thousand, interior one hundred seventy-four, mechanics one eighty-three seven hundred, <coughs> site forty-two, and technology seventy-eight fifty, seventy-eight seven fifty. Um, for one point one million one hundred forty nine thousand four hundred fifty dollars. So the thirty five thousand for the tractor is in here. Did, did yeah, we, it we was. voted that separately, yes. didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's, so that would come out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he's talking about bond. If you look at the very bar, where the heck is it for grand total here? Three point something million, isn't it? Yeah, three point seven four four million is the grand total of all the years, projects. If you add up all the way across from one to 10, we'd come up to that 3744000 It would be our thoughts and hopes that the Frontier Regional Committee they put together to oversee this could possibly offset some of the costs in year two, three, four, five by by having a uh, capital stabilization account. They're, they're, they're talking about wanting to form a capital stabilization We think it's a good thing for, for maintenance and repairs only. A little late, though, isn't it? Didn't they have one? Well, <laughs> the last meeting, we were talking about this for five meetings, and the last meeting we met the other night, was one of the Frontier members said, I think we have one of them on board already. The other ones go, we do? Huh. So, so they have no so, idea that they had a. They don't they know do, they they didn't didn't they if they have one or not, and how much is in it. No. But what they were talking about wanting to do it is if they could. And I'm not going to say this right. There's some funds that come into the school that don't get used up every year, and they could take and put this shift this funds to the capital, uh, the capital improvement projects account, and hopefully this will offset some of these costs down the road further. Who's that would be their the, the Frontier Regional School Committee. <coughs> okay. So the school well, committees have all met. So and they, their they budget. Are recommending, they're recommending. They're that? asking all those all those towns to get together individually in your own towns uh -huh. and see what your thoughts are and as to how you would think you may want to finance this in over a how many year period. All right. So that's all the town four towns are going to come together at the end yeah. with one plan. I mean, all four towns may think of want to finance it different, four different ways. So this is a presentation that was given earlier this winter by uh, Superintendent Dr. Lincoln, yes, right? Yes, right. Yes, it was. Us. That's what yeah. kicked it off. That's what okay. kicked it off. And, and the last that I knew that, uh, that was that uh, a stabilization fund was not built into the original agreement, and the original agreement would have to be altered for the... <laughs> For Frontier to have a stabilization fund. Well, but that's what we were told. The original agreement among the four towns. Yeah. 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 But no. Joe McCarran, uh, a little, little more Joe McCarran, he works for the Council of Governments. Mm -hmm. They're talking about putting him on board with a retainer because he's the one to put all these stuff together for us. Mm -hmm. And he's done a fab fabulous job. Yeah. Uh, and he understands, he's investigated a lot in the state of Massachusetts and what it was going to take to build a captain. Uh, Stabilization account for our regional school district because uh -huh. he said there is other regional school districts in the state that actually have them. Mm. So 
that means they have a long-term capital plan. I mean, there was a capital planning committee which was being formed for the purpose of looking at all the frontier regional pro properties, right? That's where we are. Putting them all on all a, uh, oh, well, on a plan. Each property would have a maintenance plan, right? Right. right. Yeah. So this yeah, is investment. part of the findings. No, this is right? no, this is only strictly for frontier regional. All right. This includes fixing the uh, leaking library roof of the frontier regional. Frontier school? regional leaking library roof. We had the meeting in that room. You'll see it. In, they're all the listed. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, I have a question. Sure. Does anybody know, or is, is there a uh, what the do they do an estimate of the value of the current value of the property itself as it now stands? Um, I doubt it. No, I don't think so. Don't know if their accountant does that or not. I don't. I wouldn't think so. Because yeah. there's no. It's not taxed. That's right. right. Yeah. So, so and what we're so what we're talking about is put it in the building itself. You're talking about 458, and this is over the next 10 years. 458, right? Plus the envelope, so we're like at 500. Uh, mechanicals, so it's 1.13, uh, 1.13 into the building, and then the site is 306, mm -hmm. and that's, what is that, is that the, tr that's not the track. Well, look back at the site over here, where is the site there? I don't know, it, it the site is upgrading parking lot and lighting controls, repair and place structures and miscellaneous asphalt. Asphalt, because you all know, is a huge item. Yeah. They have a whole yeah. lot of black stuff down there. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. breaking up badly around the school. Yeah, so it's an ADA issue, that's why. Yeah. yeah, so it's like mm -hmm. 1.2 million in the building and the site, basically, mm -hmm. out of the two, right? So that's like 800,000 that's left that is for technology, equipment, uh, what else? And all of the equipment. Where's the track, though? I don't know. The track is uh, way at the bottom. Right the track bottom. is down at the down at the bottom. They say so greater than 150. So right. 600,000. Second. Oh, 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 oh you, okay. Do you understand the difference between 150 above and below? I mean, you, you know, I didn't when I read this, and now I just oh. I see oh. these little okay, well, oh, 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 okay. So wait a minute. I'm I'm way off okay. here because the presentation is kind of because they have, yeah. their projects itemized between greater and less than 150,000. Yeah, and I didn't know why they did that. And there's no total at the far right. Yeah. I mean, right. the feedback when we attended the meeting where Tom scratched that last winter <laughs> was <laughs> that we wanted to know what the big picture items were. We just, you know, I guess the mm -hmm. committee chose 150,000 as a cutoff point. So and es it. essentially, our share of this is about 16%. Yeah. Yeah, 16 so. point, yeah, yeah. 16 yeah. If you look at the other sheet, one that says Conway at the top, there's capital needs funding options. Uh, they spell out the option, the options that we're, we're looking at, and, and what I thought, and 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 myself and um, uh, Phil Cantor thought is, if we went with options, uh, doesn't make a difference how many year options go with, but the average could be like uh, uh, 15 to. Uh, Twenty thousand dollars a year, on an average, over the life of this project for a company. And uh, we thought maybe that seeing that our grammar school Kaplan uh, count is reaching its maturity, mm -hmm. and we have no big project coming up, then maybe starting next year, this is hopefully going to come up for for vote this next year. Uh huh. Okay. This would be for work starting in fiscal year 20. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. We were hoping that, at least I would hope that Conway might look at, instead of funding the capital, the capital account for our grammar school, because mm -hmm. we were talking about, remember, we were talking about it's almost uh, capping at, what was it, 350000 Yeah, 235000 uh, Conway Grammar School. Uh, that we could take those funds and, and move them over to start paying for this without hitting their tax rate. Yeah. All right. Well, these, these are very preliminary numbers. Oh, yeah, they're, they're very no, preliminary. So, no and have and the other towns met? Have there been, has Deerfield No, they're all, they're all just meeting now. We'll all yeah. come back next week. They, our meeting's not next Thursday. Is there going to be a joint meeting of all the towns? We could have there is going to be eventually, okay, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, just before we get too far away from it, uh, we do have a list of projects mm -hmm. from the Conway Grammar School, but it's not set out in any kind of a timetable. Mm -hmm. So I've asked them, actually, to come up with a a timetable and, and think about a, a capital plan committee for the grammar school as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not a, as though those funds won't be needed by the yeah. grammar school. Uh, we just don't 
know what the timetable is for them yet because we don't have a plan from them. We're hoping that this Frontier Regional School Committee will will set up a capital uh, plan like Tom was talking for our grammar school, but yeah. for the Frontier Regional School District only right. uh, of the building itself, so that and maybe have some town representations like it was member of the board of selectmen or something on this committee, yeah. Yeah. because we all know as we went to these meetings before, they have been approving. Fifty-six thousand dollars a year was it for maintenance account? And they're only spending under twenty on actual maintenance, and they're taking the other rest of it and spending it off here and there and everywhere, not to do with maintenance. Mm -hmm. So, we felt if they would form this committee with more towns' involvements, yeah. could oversee and recommend how they spend that money, mm -hmm. this future money. Yeah. Don't so, just give them the whole three and four, four point four, 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 four million. Say, see you later. Go ahead and spend the way you want. So there will be potentially some overlap between the committee you're on for the overall frontier. And if you just form a separate, we would hope they would do that. Yes. Because right. one important comment that Andrew and I had it back in March when we voted on the final budget was there really wasn't our understanding. There really wasn't a number. Or there wasn't a goal in terms of the Conway Grammar capitalization mm -hmm. fund, stabilization fund. We, I mean, we're just going to keep going. Yeah. yeah and and I haven't let them know that. So I, I think the Conway Grammar School Committee is going to be taking that up at their next meeting. Okay. Yeah, because it would help give us guidance in terms of the big picture of what are we working towards here. Because we had talked, our, our committee at Frontier Regional had originally talked about, well, do we want to just put all the bonds, ask the towns to take, bite the whole 3.4 million at once. Yeah. And just go and do all these projects. Uh -huh. And everybody said, you realize what that's going to do to your tax rates? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, and all the money won't be, if you'll, you'll borrow all the money, you won't be using it, and mm -hmm. it's an expensive way to go. Yeah. 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 So what, what do we? What does the committee need from us tonight? On the just committee? an idea as to what you might favor as uh, options to go with. He kind of leaned a lot toward uh, Joe McCarran, I should say, not he. Mm -hmm. Leaned a lot toward bonds, using bonds. We talked a lot about that. Yeah. Taking the money this, out longer term. This would be a staggered series of bonds over mm -hmm. several years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the equivalent of going interest only for a period of time. You float notes for a few years, then you right. turn it out over maybe right. as many as seven That's years. So notes mm -hmm. are one year borrowings? Yeah. And yeah. bonds yeah. are 20 or something? Bonds are typically five, five or, or seven or ten. Five, seven or eight. Five or longer. Yeah. 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 You know, and, and, and for the uh, for the sort of null option, uh, it, and it's you know it, it's the least expensive to take the the whole bite at first, but that's also the the least uh, the least uh, yeah. palatable. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and then the question is, you know, the the longer you go out, the more you're paying for interest rates, but the less you're paying per year. Yeah. And. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, it's great that he has it. You know, if your goal is a level debt service, so that your your line item doesn't change all that much each year, um, there's there's one set of payments, and then there's a, a different set if if your your goal is to have a level principal payment. Mm -hmm. That recalls from that meeting we had back in winter. What feedback the given was, if there could be. For each building, the number of years left for each of the major improvement items. Mm -hmm. So if we know that if we do go out and bond for as long as 10 years, would we still be paying back debt service and items that might have to queue up again for, yeah. Yeah. right? you know, and that was, that was one of the that. suggestions yeah. we had made would be if there can be of the major ticket items, so the estimated useful life that would be. So we don't want to be upside <laughs> down on these items. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's like the track. Lines. That track is 21 years old now. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it is. Right. Yeah. yeah. 20 year life. Yeah. Now, Joe Markarian used to work for the Department of uh, Revenue. Oh. And he's a financial, he's a, he's a municipal financial expert. So certainly I would weigh his recommendation on bonds pretty high. So okay. on, on the sheet here that says Conway, it, it, it says uh, 549000 for the less than $150,000 projects. And we would owe 16% of that. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the total. That's not... So. Yeah, everything is yeah. the total. Yeah, right. So 16% of that is, is right. 88000 mm -hmm. So that would be our share of... 
We look over here. Yeah, you see, you got see to build out over here in the bond. See, five, here seven, ten years. Uh -huh. How much it gonna cost you? What, what page? Uh, page, second page in. A third page, I see. Yeah, yeah. Do we have to have the same solution as all four? Well, I think they're going to have to do one yeah. boring straight across the board for everybody. It's, it's right. going to have to be one solution for I all. I think it would have to be right. because it's yeah. expensive to bond, too. Right. Right. Bond power is so out of that 3.7 mil, what's, what is the Conway's part is how much? Oh, uh, part? Well, 16% of that is. So, so it's like 500,000. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. Uh, right around, yeah. And 316 is 48. Wait, 500,000. And so uh, it is just, I'm just very rough numbers mm -hmm. in my head. So if you took that over 10 years, it's 50 grand a year. That's that's digestible. Well, they're, I think. they're looking, see, they're looking at more like 21, 22,000 a year. For mm -hmm. five years, mm -hmm. seven year fifteen seven ninety eight, or the ten year at eleven thousand five hundred eighty four dollars a year. That was yeah. uh, but Roy was doing it based on the whole well, sixteen percent of the whole cost. Right. Right. Yeah. right. I'm just trying to see whether you the, to me you could take it into pieces. It's like you know instead of. Uh, eating a, a half gallon of ice cream at one time, yeah. you're sort of spoon feeding if, it over if five we, years. If we want to... Ten years. Uh, <laughs> again, uh, if you're going to look at bonds, you, you, they would like to have an idea whether you're thinking you want to go with a five-year bond, a seven-year bond, or a ten-year bond. Yeah. yeah. But so mm -hmm. let's, let's just say, because you said, well, what's that going to do to the tax rate? Mm -hmm. If that, my, calcu my rough calculation was correct there, it shouldn't do much if they were to do it all at once, okay? So you, you're talking 10 years times 50,000 a year is 500,000 plus interest, okay? So I You want to start getting hit $50,000 a year for this price? Well, so what's 50,000 on, on the tax rate? 20 cents. I mean, we're already squeezing nickels to come up with dimes. No, I, I understand, but if it's a, if, see what will happen here, if you do it piecemeal, I, I, I do think that maybe the money will get spent more carefully than if you just <coughs> do this whole project all at once and you're trying to get it done by the start of the next school or, mm -hmm. you know, whenever it is. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know. By going to five or seven or, or ten year, I, the committee's I, uh, census I'm getting from my committee is, is that they're hoping that these numbers might go down a little bit from them having this account and they will transfer monies at the end of the year into it mm -hmm. and stuff like they have any left over so they can offset some of these costs every other year. Yeah. That's their, uh, presumably their excess and deficiency account, which yeah. is right. like well, our free cash. Yes, right. but they, in past years, they typically use it. They, yeah, they, they do. They, they do. find yeah, that they, they didn't, they under budgeted here or they had an excess yeah. electrical cost or whatever it is. Well, basically the schools right now are under, under they've been under maintained for years, especially the Frontier Regional School, unfortunately. <laughs> Here, here's what I think. There won't be any extra money left. Whatever it's worth. I spend some money. Well, I got another question. How many vacancies are there in that school? Not staff vacancies, student vacancies. Do you, anybody know off the top of their head? Because I'm... Vacant, you, you mean... I mean? How many more students can they have in more school? Students? Yeah. I mean, increase yeah. I, I don't know. I'm saying that if if they were to do go whole hog and make that place shiny bright, like new, if you will, there's a certain attractiveness to that, to people. Have you been down the frontier? It's quite nice. It's it nice. Is nice. They have 150 school choice kids coming there now. I know. I, I, I mean, you know, they're, yeah, they're doing some things. They've been ignoring. Well. These are just ideas that yeah. I, mean, I think they've been ignoring the big ticket items over the last 20 years. Well, but they haven't. The school's been under maintained. Well, my thought would be, in terms of if we were to go with. They have textbooks? Yeah, if we were to go with. Uh, like make this a part of a, each one of these as part of a bigger project. There will be professional oversight, and that's one of the things I that would offer an advantage versus us doing it individually as a town. We would have the ability to have professional oversight of someone who would oversee all these projects, and that was certainly one of the things that was brought up, especially by a few members in, in the uh, town of Deerfield about proper oversight, given their recent experience with the uh, roof of the Ele yeah. Deerfield Elementary mm -hmm. School. Yeah. All right, so right now we're just considering these preliminary numbers, and uh, Mark Harian's suggestion is bonds Bond? no, for the yeah, whole thing? That's what he wrote oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, well, so it would either be option three or option four, yeah. and I'm, 
you, you know, again, the more dollars you spend, the less you have to borrow. Mm -hmm. But do we have the dollars to spend, um, or is it really worth it to the town to spread it out and pay a little bit more in interest rates? Do we have any bridges coming up that are going to need work after this one on the Yes, we road? do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? it's Plenty. Like, you turn around, there's another three hundred and five hundred dollars yeah. yeah. If we're looking at we're looking at a higher garage down the road sometime, you know, we're <coughs> right, right, right yeah, close you to know, the top limit. Really yeah. well. <laughs> and and you, you won't get that money from the elementary school, especially if they now have a goal to set this up and say, you ain't getting that money out of there. So, in, so from here, I didn't say taking the money out of their goal. Come, that's not what I said. No, yeah. just not putting more into it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But is that after they've got a new heating plant or before? Well, again, like I thought that Tom's asking for a list of what they're sure. when they think they're going to be. Then we can want to replace this stuff. Yeah, I have I have a list, but not a timetable. Right. So from here, what's well, the time? What's the time? What's the time frame? They want we can have they want to have us all wrapped up by. By we're going to wrap up to summer? come to the taxpayers next year. Next year. Within the next year, okay. Next right. year. Yeah, so. What pain did they feel to say we can push this project off for a year, for two years, for five years? I mean, you, some of these projects are getting pushed off a long way. We felt, the group felt that we need to start immediately start doing something. Some of the them, absolutely. Now, I mean, yes. We're already pushing off the air. But some of these and projects are leaking rough, so we got to deal with. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and there's a big push for the track. Although there's one town in, uh, of the four of us that thinks that one of the members that doesn't think the track needs no six hundred thousand dollars worth of repair, but I don't know where that's coming from. I because it was it was one point one mil to do our our ball field, right? Yeah. That's all. I mean, six hundred sounds like a lot. Well, the track is long. It's big. Yeah, but it was it's long. Okay. Mohawk just put in a new track field yeah. five years ago. It might be worth. You know what they yeah, yeah. They did a they, repair. They did a resurfacing. They just did a repair yeah, on it this right, past yeah. year. This is a repair. I can't remember how many thousands of dollars. They had money in their own like accounts to pay for it. Coach, so yeah, but it, even the people that came and did repair said, you folks better be spending money pretty quick or you're going to have nothing left. 15 years ago. Then well, but that's, you know. So All right, so we have these numbers to consider, <clears throat> and we have, you know, yeah. again, we only have 16% of this. We have two towns that are larger than us. Mm -hmm. So if they come up with a particular solution to this, we basically yeah, get to go along with it. Wags it you know. <laughs> and, and as I say, it, if they put uh, Joe Moore Carry on, on board to, to advise them and he wants bonds, that's, that's the way to go. Yeah. yeah. What percentage is Deerfield? Uh, Oh, no, they're, they're oh, we got that here. I don't big know. time. They're, we have they're what, 40, 45 percent? More than that. I think they're more than that. Mm -hmm. might be, they might be 50 I percent. I think they're 53 yeah. percent. Yeah. But now, okay, are you saying that. that we would be better off doing the, 53 the whole project all at once with good yeah. supervision? It might be if we have a professional to super, supervise the oversight of the whole thing, yeah. You know? R rather than push stuff out for a year, two, three, well, four, yeah, A lot of times when you're building town. stuff, it's like, while you're doing this, you might yeah. as well, might yeah. as well, might as well, yeah. instead of in and out, yeah. And there would be a, there would be somebody who would supervise the construction all right. the time, right. so we'd make sure we have the budget. I'm going to tell you budget. something, you couldn't do it all the time, all at once, because mm -hmm. you'd have to close the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. They, they, so there's too much to be done in the, in the summertime mm -hmm. project. Yeah. 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 Understood. Okay. Thanks. So, do we want to talk about what kind of years you think you may want to go out on the bonds, or not? I, well, think, I think we should defer to the experts. Right? Yeah, I, think I think we, we, we need yeah. some some more recommendations here yeah. on, on this. Yeah. Maybe we can whittle this list down. Yeah, and <laughs> that's yeah. what he's been working on. You yeah, know, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, you won't yeah. believe the battles we've had. Yeah, yeah right. And in in right. general, I don't see the point yeah. of going with the uh, level debt service. Um, it's it's just meant to make the budget even, but the budget's never even anyway. There's always volatility in it. My committee is yet to see the track. We're, go, we're, we're getting a personal tour over the next third. Wonderful. And uh, an hour ahead of our meeting. And I think uh, so. Will, I think will that do any good or not? The um, the level principal payments are probably more attractive to me because I think the level debt service is kind of a an artificial gimmick. There's, there's no real reason to do it that way mm -hmm. and at least the other way you, you can 
you can have one project <laughs> sliding down as you introduce right. others that, that no, have it's real more. So it's a principal mm -hmm. and, and, and these are the years that we put these projects up and what year they come up to do to be replaced is is certainly in, in up in the air because you don't know one of these projects you may have listed five years from now may all of a sudden crap out on you or whatever might think be done and you need to do it sooner. I mean Yeah. Yeah. It's just a guesstimate, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, we're we're working with really preliminary numbers. And, and mm -hmm. I, I don't see us spending five hundred and fifty thousand dollars in dollars and getting a bond for six hundred thousand either. I think that that's a lot of dollars to swallow. That's very expensive. But so um, I mean, that's small. It makes sense. So I, I, I would go with the um, mm -hmm. the uh, option for B if I had to at mm -hmm. this point. But and that said, you know, uh, the seven year bond, I think, makes a lot of sense. You're not spending that much more than the 10 year bond, but, but you're avoiding three years of interest payments. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I had my druthers, it would be option 4B with a seven year bond. We'll see where, we'll see where we are here now in terms of the interest rates in this amount. Yeah. Okay, thank Thanks. you guys for coming in. Well, that's it. One more. So this is a request for a transfer from the reserve fund, the, uh, the Conway uh, cleanup. Yes, if you guys could quickly take a uh, consider so that. So the total cleanup cost is come, has come in at just under $26,300, is that correct? That's the estimate. I'm still waiting for a final invoice. All right. We have no choice. Right? Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the, this is the, this is the well. Oh, this is the well. This says... Transfer of a station oil spill emergency. This is what was in my mock dated March 12th. Is this an overlap? That's old. That's, That's old. old. So we just That's old. Have you already approved that one? I think we, we have. have. I think yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you have. Yeah. Uh, well, we have an estimate from Lynn Wind Well Drilling of eleven thousand dollars, approximately. Yes. So do you want to vote for um, this now? Uh, yeah, I would say if you authorize twelve, that would be very helpful. Yeah. So that would have been completed and done. So they had yeah. to school for yeah. a couple of days. Yeah, I know. Yeah, let me let me find out the exact amount for that in just, just a second. Just on our, just on our sorry, I thought I hour. sent that in an email. Yeah. There wasn't a formal request for it. So. I thought it was the well plus relining the tank. Well, that's going to be done this summer. Yeah. The tank yeah, is going so that's, well. that's, that's, that's on the warrant. Yeah. What they had was for the school. Right. Yeah. They had the yeah. This was the formal the request pipe for that. that goes from the top of the well down to the pump. You should have gotten that in an email. Yeah. Rotted right. it out. It is. The pipe rotted out. The pipe rotted out. The so casing you talking about? No. The pipe that holds the pump up. The pump is submersible pump. Oh on the bottom. yeah, yeah. Isn't that a plastic pipe? No, it has to be steel because of the weight of the pump mm -hmm. and as far down as it is. Yeah. So that eroded, and what was happening, they went from sending three gallons a minute to the ground, to a yeah. gallon and a half, and then they were starting to run out of water. Right. And the pump's running and running and running and running, right. and it's growing up the pipe, out the holes, and back down the well again. Right. And that has the invoice attached to it. Yeah, so yeah. Really, uh, while they're in there repairing the pipe, well, you've got to set the rig up, you've got to do all this expensive help. What a better time going to replace the pump by then. You yeah. forget that hole into that piece. What, is yeah. it 20 years old? 50? 27? 27. 27. Built yeah. in 91. They moved on. Yeah. 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 So they got so. some life out of that. Right. Yes, yeah. they did. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do you want a formal motion? We move, this, uh, this money comes out of the Conway Grammar Stabilization Fund, right? No, this is coming out of the reserve fund. Oh, the reserve fund. Right. If, if we made them wait until town meeting. I mean, I mean, we already have the invoice. Yeah. Uh, it's it's probably best, time. since they're going to be doing the other wor work, not to make them wait an extra six weeks for the... How much is left in the fund? In the reserve fund. It, it, there's, there's plenty. There's 27000 left. All right. So, All right. so I, I have... Make I think it says that on the form, actually. If you want to read it, just maybe... Hmm? If you want to read it, just... Go Go ahead, make the motion. Can I make a motion that we approve the request of funds transferred from the reserve fund? Second. And all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Thank, Thank you, guys. So that that three in favor. I'm going to vote for them. He's still reading. <laughs> He's still yeah. reading. So you take that out, then there's four. Do you have any further comments? How deep is the well? You know, I don't know. Are you voting for it? Okay, it's four. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thomas, and you're very much if you put that in your own minute book.
as okay. well. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Well. Thomas, any okay. items not in, uh, okay. anticipated? Thank you. Thank you, guys. No, yep. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Thank Can you. Sign out here? Please. <laughs> yes. Bye. Uh, no. The, no, uh, no. No items not in. Your update? Yeah. Here is the update. Um, under committee news, the Energy Committee is planning to ask for a second extension of their META grant intended for a feasibility study for a solar field since the new state SMART program, which replaces the old SREC 2 program, is less beneficial and may result in the plan not being financially possible. But they want to know how close they can get um, because there's, you know, maybe there are other ways to develop that field. Um, the work the, the, on the think, think how terrible that is. Yeah. You know, that, that, that we've changed the, uh, the, okay. the incentive payments for solar so that it may not be financially possible to put this thing in. I mean, I don't know, but I'm, I'm petrified this is going to be common. And uh, and the well, solar maybe the state's going broke. No, this they're going to stop giving away all their money. <laughs> uh, con continuing with the uh, <laughs> non-deliberative <laughs> part of this, <laughs> this upsets uh, me. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, this is just Sorry. a report. <laughs> this is just a report. We can put it on the agenda. I, if you'd I, like. No, no, no. Yeah. Just comment. Um, the work on the town hall is now finished. And I'm just waiting for the final invoices from the engineer and the contractor, which could could be in for Monday's warrant. Uh, after that, we still need sign off from the building inspector in the state, but we may be able to complete the Green Communities <coughs> grant by May 30th, our current deadline. Okay. Uh, for departmental news, the treasurer has suggested that we have as part of our financial policies a policy on how committees with budgets process their expenses, especially who has spending authority and how the expenses are authorized. We have not had any trouble but we can see the potential for misunderstandings that could easy, easily be avoided with a straightforward policy. The small town administrators seem to feel that all expenses ought to be reported to the committees regularly and soon after they are made for inclusion in their minutes. I'm drafting a policy with Jan and plan to bring that to you soon. Good. Uh, and I received the final report on the oil spill that was sent to DEP, about 40 pages long. Uh, we did get the job done within 60 days and so avoided at least $1,500 in extra costs. I have not yet received a final invoice. A okay. uh, couple of things about town meeting. I've drafted two documents I think would be helpful to hand out to town meeting. Uh, the first is this, which is uh, and uh, an explanation of the commu community preservation. Yeah, there's an extra copy. So. Uh, uh, the first is an explanation of the community preservation article and motion. Uh, as you will recall, I explained at the last meeting about the uh, relatively major change in the number for the budgeted reserve. So I think it's it's good to let people digest mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, uh, before it comes up. The second item is a sheet showing all the special articles by source of funds. That's this one. Uh, so this just, just lists where all the money is coming from. Um, and as uh, the administrative and ass assessor and I develop a statement about what this might mean for the tax rate, which is always high, that is the statement or estimate that we come out beforehand, because we always assume the current year's valuation. Mm -hmm. um, I can add a figure for how much spending represents about a dollar on the tax rate, uh, but I haven't worked that out with the administrative assessor yet. And it could just be a statement that every, you know, it, it's sort of on the order of $250,000 represents a dollar on the tax rate, but we'll have that figure. Uh, we'll have a more refined figure than that. It, again, it won't be exact okay. until we get the valuation for the next year, mm -hmm. but uh, at least it'll give people a little bit of an idea. And again, as I'm, uh, I'm 
happy uh, Robert pointed this out last week, the raise and appropriate is only $55,000. Yeah. Uh, this is also because we haven't gotten the uh, garage committee uh, to uh, come up with a plan yet. And I spoke with Ken about that today. And, and uh, we all, we, we're all in agreement that it needs to move forward. Um, I do have the garage stabilization down as a raise and appropriate item, partly as kind of a test case to verify that people are starting to be willing to tax themselves. This is a little less than half of what they would have to mm -hmm. pay if <coughs> we actually got it and borrowed. Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's a kind of a test case to see, yes, we are ready to start taxing ourselves for the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, any other comments, please let me know. This um, is great. I like that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. The taxpayers like that. Very nice. Uh, really, really breaks it down and really uh, uh, lets people know what's what's going on. That's great. Good one, Tom. Thanks. Uh, okay, next one. Concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns? No, got, no concerns. Oh, uh, uh, you got, oh, you got, you got a concern? Okay. Last October, Tom, I mentioned to you to have Ron Sweet uh, put a plate or something over the hole in the common up in the center's common up here. Oh, where yeah. the water fountain is. Mm -hmm. The fire department orange cone is still in the hole, and nothing's been mm -hmm. done. I think all they need to do, I mean, you're probably not going to fill in because just all they do is just take a steel plate or something. So that was an old well from back. No, it was so. it's part of there. It's, it's part of the, the water monument that was here. The and it's a backside, it's a, a recessed bowl that the horses mm -hmm. used to drink out of. Yeah, yeah. You bring your horse in and let them drink out of the bowl. Yeah. Of course, it hasn't been water for years now. Right. But this is a concrete hole about this deep. Yeah. And somebody's, last fall, a kid fell in it during the, during the parade. Right. After, yeah. right. after dark. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And the parents got concerned, mentioned the week, so we put a cone to try to keep over out of it. And I mentioned to Tom about getting Ron to put a plate on it or something. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Because uh, we certainly don't want nobody to get through the town without one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mail. We got a letter from um, the Franklin County Regional Housing and Redevelopment Authority. It gives us a quarterly report on the um, community development block grant that we have with them. Uh, anybody who wants to take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, they hold funds for us for housing rehabilitation for people of low and moderate income. So people who are of low and moderate income who might want some housing rehabilitation funds can contact me or them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, any announcements? No announcements. Okay. Our next meeting is scheduled for April 30th. That's next Monday here in the town office. Any other business to come before the board? No, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Do I have a second? Take one favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.